can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're pretty much going to be working on the 435. You have to get the car pretty much ready for the mods. You guys know that I'm going to try to go stage two. Uh, I'm going to try to do catalyst downpipes. I mean, no, catted downpipes. And I also want to flash the transmission. So we got a lot of things I want to do to the car, get it up to the performance gains that I want it to be at. at the same time, I don't want to blow anything. So we're going to go ahead in today's video and go ahead and support the differential, change the fluids, change all kinds of different fluids and just get the car pretty much ready to go and maybe it might need some coating so uh let's let's see how today how smooth today goes and let's see what kind of leaks the 435 has honestly so as you guys can see we already got the car up shout out to john for helping me do that so uh now that the car is up if you guys check it out down here honestly the leaks are not that bad but i do have an oil pan leak so that kind of sucks so uh if i ever have to um you know do something down here and have to you know drop the subframe that's something we're gonna have to do uh as for the transmission pan it looks perfectly good i don't think it leaked or anything from the transmission pan but obviously we're about to check the fluids so let's go ahead and just take the sample make sure this is you know something that's going to be safe swapping out the new fluids with because online it says something about if the fluids are really bad and you swap it out with new fluids the transmission is going to start acting all weird so uh we're gonna go check if this if these fluids have ever been replaced and uh, if not I don't know if I want to replace them. So uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. Let me just go ahead and pump it out real quick. I don't know if you guys saw it. The fluids were actually amazing. That makes me really feel happy about my transmission. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me just grab a little real quick. If you guys look at my fingers, this isn't burnt fluids. This is like, this is like good, good fluids. That doesn't mean it's, it's only been in there for like 50,000 miles. It just means whoever that had this car before me really took care of it. Probably all highway miles. It makes sense with the mileage that's on this car. So I'm really happy he didn't beat this car. Sorry for my hands not being able to focus, but yeah, really happy about that. So anyway, now at this point, let's just go ahead and drain it. We're gonna go ahead and do the full transmission pan, uh, new gaskets, new bolts, new everything. So let's go ahead and just drain this. Yeah, let's go ahead and move forward with this process. Guys, I can't help but admire how good these fluids look. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> my car is in a piece of shit. Oh my Lord. I just went ahead and moved, removed the tray that's pretty much, I removed the tray that's between the exhaust and the pan. I'm gonna have to put that back to make sure the exhaust doesn't actually burn or melt this pan. So anywho, let's go ahead and just remove all the bolts. There's an actual bolt pattern to how you remove this. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a screenshot right there. That is actually numbered on the way you're supposed to remove it and put it back on. I think that's actually just the way you put it back on, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do it the same way. Take it off just to be safe. Uh, I don't want any issues considering that this transmission is really making me happy right now. Hopefully I don't snap any of these bolts. Hopefully I don't snap any of these bolts. I believe Maybe just torque them down to 10 newton meters uh so make sure you don't torque these too much because they snap very easily even the new bolts and we're using new bolts new pan new everything also what i'm gonna go ahead and do since i see a whole bunch of oil everywhere i'm gonna go ahead i think it's my oil pan uh, i really love how there's not much oil anywhere it's just literally right here so i think it's my oil pan i'm gonna go ahead and just break clean this entire area right here break clean this all and then uh i guess we'll see where the oil comes out first so uh let's go ahead and do that real quick All right, guys, just, just use brake clean on all this. So uh, I think it's actually right here. Anywho, that's a very common failure point. Let's go ahead and just remove all these bolts real quick on this uh, transmission pan. I'm so excited, actually. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, actually. I'm so excited. Alright guys, so we have the transmission pan off. This is actually the Megatronics. This is something that I had to replace on my 330i. This is an absolute nightmare. It needs coating. These are the Megatronic, uh, not the Megatronic sleeve. Uh, I don't think this car has a Megatronic sleeve. I think these are the Megatronic solenoids right here. Uh, whole bunch of things I remember doing with my 330i because that car was a lemon. This one, thankfully, so far so good. So far so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean all this down, uh, wipe around pretty much the edges, and then we're gonna go ahead and just put on the new pan. Should be a pretty easy process.
So uh, after tightening these down to 7.3 foot pounds of torque, that's what it says online. Uh, I snapped one right here and I snapped one in there. So I'm gonna have to actually extract what's in there, which is gonna suck. So uh, pretty much the rest of these, I just torqued them down. Cause this one basically I torqued it down to seven, it snapped. This one right here, I torqued it down to f uh, six, it snapped. And then the rest of them I torqued them all down to five. And I think I just wanna do this and that side on five. Let me go ahead and ex extract uh, the, the two screws real quick. So if you guys have never seen a, uh, an extraction tool, basically I'm gonna drill into it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use a, an extraction tool to remove what's in there. Cause I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, yeah, it's the screws in there. So I need to pull that out. So uh, I know for some of you guys, uh, you probably wanna know this because I've done this so many times and I just, I've, I've had to deal with this. So if you guys snap your transmission bolt, so bolt is all the way up. You don't wanna take the whole pan off and then torque it all back and then you actually might break a couple more. So what I do is that I go ahead and drill upwards. You really have to take your time and get it in the center of the screw, drill upwards, and then you go ahead and put this extraction tool and then you just go counterclockwise and uh, eventually the bolt should just come out. So just like that guys. Check it out. So that is the bolt pulled out of the car. So if you guys look in the center of it, I drilled a hole right in here and then I pretty much just put this in there and just went counterclockwise and it took it out. So that's perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, reuse the best bolt that I can see here and uh, hopefully just torque it down to five. Five foot pounds of torque, which is what I did the other ones on and it didn't snap. So hopefully this won't snap. All right guys, wish me luck. Five hours later. Guys, I don't know if you can see metal shards all over me. It's been approximately five hours. Five hours. I'm not even kidding you guys. I got here at 12. I got the first screw out that I messed up at one and it's 644 right now. So, oh my God, guys. I'm actually like, if you see my face, I'm literally beyond, I was beyond stress. Um, I just pretty much got the screw in there. I, I, I snapped the bolt, I finally got it out. I'm super stressed out because I was basically stripping the area around it as well. And I was like, I, I, this is looking really bad. And then eventually I got a screw in there. I tightened it. I'm not even gonna over torque it or just torque it to this spec. I'm just gonna tighten it to where I felt like the gasket is flush and that's it. I left it. Good thing is we have a lift, so we'll check on it another time. And if I see it a little bit leaking, I'll go ahead and tighten it just a little bit more. But as for now, I think it's good. So without further ado, thank the Lord, it's finally over. Uh, let's go ahead and pump in some new fluids. Please, God, please, please, let me let me finish the transmission. I'm trying to get home today. Whew, guys, I, I, I bet you guys know that when you're working on cars, nothing nothing ever goes according to plan. But end of the day, thank the Lord. Uh, let's just go ahead and start pumping in some fluids. All right, guys, so we just went ahead and put a bit about, I put about three and a half bottles in and then it started leaking. So as you guys know, uh, once it starts leaking, you just gotta put in the screw. Uh, so I put back in the fill screw, but I put back the old fill screw, mainly because a new one has a new gasket and I'm not trying to ruin that. So I put back the old the old fill screw and now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to start up the car and then pretty much put it through all the gears. So you're gonna put it in like drive, reverse, neutral, all that stuff, sports mode, leave it in each one for about 10 seconds and then let the car run for about 15 minutes just so all the fluids actually go to the system, go through all the lines, and then uh, in about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the car, get it right back up, and then pump in the rest of the fluids. All right, guys, I'm going ahead. I'm turning on the computer. I'm on a phone call with Nick right now, and uh, basically, we're just gonna check the temperatures. We need to get the temperatures to 30 to 40. That's what I heard online. Uh, so once we get it to 30 to 40, then we can go ahead and pump in the rest of the fluids. But as for now, uh, let's go ahead and just put it in. So it's been in park for about 10 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and put it in drive. Go ahead and leave this for about 10 seconds. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put it in reverse. And then finally, we're just gonna put it in sport. I don't really know if that does anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in sport as well. Leave it for about 10 seconds because we're gonna have to leave the car on for 10, 15 minutes anyways. Let's just do that as well. Now, let's just go back and put it to park. So uh, right now we're gonna go back. Is it input, Nick, or what software are we going to today? So we're going to Insta to check the temperatures. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let Nick take over and then I'll let you guys know what happens. So guys, to get all the fluids basically into the torque converter, what you're gonna have to do is just put your foot on the gas and just rev it to around 2000 RPMs and hold that for about 30 seconds. And then uh, once that's done, 
Should be good to go. All right, guys, so uh, we've got the car up to engine temperatures. What's really weird is I, I pretty much use about, about you know, nine tenths of each bottle, about four bottles. I still have three bottles in the kit. Uh, according to Nick also, what you drain out of here is only about half of the fluid. So I'm assuming I'm good. We're gonna go ahead and let it cool down and then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the differential. So you guys know, I also picked up differential fluid. So we gotta pretty much undo this bolt right here, uh, drain, uh, pump out the differential fluid, pump in new differential fluid, and then I also have a differential mod because we're gonna try to take care of this as much as possible because I don't want this blowing up on me or anything like that. So without further ado, let me go ahead and uh, figure out, this is a huge, huge head. Uh, the right nut for this real quick. I actually forgot guys, let's go ahead and place this in first. Uh, this is just, you know, the heat shield. Let's go ahead and add that real quick. And then we'll start working on the differential and the differential support. Um, guys, I have so many bottles left, oh my God. And it's about time you guys. Let's put us in new diff fluid. Feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. And mission success, diff fluids are in. It felt very satisfying how easy that was. Diff fluids are honestly so easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all Jonathan's tools. He let me use his pump and everything, so shout out to Jonathan for that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe everything down here with some uh, brake cleaner, and uh, I think we're good to go. We have the new transmission fluids in, new transmission pan, uh, new transmission bolt, uh, seals and bolts and all that good stuff, uh, new differential fluid. So now, uh, the one more thing we need for the rear end is the differential support. So let me just clean up real quick, and I'll check back to you guys, because I don't think you guys wanna see me clean up. So uh, I'll see you guys when I'm finished cleaning. And finally, guys, we are officially here, about to install this. So I'm gonna have to look up a video on how to install this. I actually have no idea. Yeah, but this is a diff support, comes with all the screws, washes, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead, check it out, and install this bad boy. Because it'd be sick, you know, your, your man is doing good with his car. I mean, you guys should be proud of me. I'm over here doing all the maintenance, and then, and then, and then we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna have to send it, you know? So, uh, I'm super hyped, I hope you guys are hyped. Let's go ahead and install this. This is from Burger Tuning, by the way, guys. So if you guys are wondering where I'm getting this diff support from, and you guys are trying to take care of your cars while pushing some uh, pretty decent numbers, then make sure to check them out, link down below. Without further ado, finally, let's get it. Guys, I'm putting this on, but it's not really lining up right. I don't know if I ordered the right one, so uh, RIP. But in the bright side, all the maintenance got done. Uh, we have new diff fluids, new transmission fluids, we have new belts, new pulleys, uh, new oil cooler, uh, oil cap, all that good stuff. So officially, we have everything on the car in terms of maintenance. I'm pretty sure it's done. So that means in the next video, we're gonna go straight into mods, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we have, yeah, it's just it's just mods. It's Guys, hallelujah. Um, the differential support, I'm gonna have to reach out to Burger Tuning, uh, see if I ordered the wrong one. And I forgot the lights on, that's about to die. But in terms of maintenance, this thing is ready. So the next episode is gonna go straight into modifying the car and then officially tuning it, hopefully within the next episode or two. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are also excited for the 650i, I'm waiting on the wrap and a couple of things to come in. And the PCV valve still haven't came in yet, so that kind of sucks. And last but not least, I do have a huge announcement that, that I'm gonna be doing on this wall right here. So you guys will be posted on that, hopefully in the next video as well. But yeah, anywho, without further ado, it is super late, so I'll see you guys in the next one. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, and uh, if you guys wanna see uh, this little dude fly, smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.